Hi everybody, uh, I am going to show you how to set up an unmodified Martha tent. Uh, without going into too much detail, again, there are so many of these videos out there, but I, I run a little bit different. I run an unmodified tent. So this is, uh, I reckon, I think it's 100 170 centimeters uh, at the top. Ooh, costs about 20 bucks. It's just basically an indoor greenhouse, I think is what they call them online. Uh, yeah, cheap as heck, man. Uh, it's got four shells, uh, and as you can see here, it's empty right now. So I set this all up, and uh, you can see I've got LED lights, just Christmas lights. Um, that's mostly for me, to be honest, but I guess it does help with fruiting. So I'm going to try to do this pretty quick here. I'm going to show you basically what I have done is I have set this up. It takes, oh, I don't know, about five minutes. Once you get good at it, I've blasted the inside of it with 70% isopropyl or ethanol. I don't remember which one it is. Or do, 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 do. I let that sit overnight uh, with the door closed and uh, then I opened it up and let it evaporate. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm just going to do one shelf. Um, you can do two or you can do four. I'm just going to do the one in the middle here to kind of show you guys. These are what are called incontinence pads. Um, <laughs> they are dirt cheap. This costs about a quarter. Oh, maybe even less. So I don't know that whole box is, uh, I don't know, I think, yeah, it's about two bucks for like eight of them, I think. Anyway, what you do is soft side up. These are hopefully unused. They uh, are pretty darn sterile. Obviously right here, they fit perfectly inside my tent. They have different brands. Uh, and they also have sort of different qualities. I don't know, you go with the cheap ones. This uh, is inspired by my guinea pigs. I put these under under my guinea pig cages, uh, which would be kind of down here on the bottom, uh, so that their pee doesn't go all over my floor, and also um, so that it's really, really easy to kind of clean up. So you could, again, put four of these on here. I've noticed with four of them, depending on your ambient conditions, four of them is a little bit too high of humidity. You'll end up getting condensation. I don't know if you can sort of see it on this other one, which I might open up a little bit later. Um, sometimes if you notice there's too much condensation, you gotta be careful uh, if you're turning on and off the air conditioner and things like that. They will uh, get condensation on the inside uh, because I'm gonna saturate this pad. Let me do, <laughs> Let me do that right now. Uh, you may have noticed that just popped. I did have a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, 3% left over site. I did add a little bit. Um, I don't know why I was trying to just get rid of it basically. Uh, I don't normally use that, but I don't know if you're having problems and hydrogen peroxide is cheap. Um, these pads should be pretty sterile. So I'm going to put about a half liter of water on there and just let it soak in. So, you know, I don't know what the average adult's bladder holds, but I reckon that's about a full load. I can kind of hear it, hear it bubbling. <laughs> that's how you know it's working. Um, and what I would do probably is, again, put extra ones on here. Uh, I'm not going to set all of them up, but again, you're just going to have to work with your local uh, conditions. Uh, somebody suggested uh, that also maybe the top shelf isn't the best place because if you do get condensation, you'll have little drops hitting the top of your caps and that may lead to some kind of bacterial blotch and some other issues. But again, you know, you just put about a half, 500, uh, 600 milliliters on there and uh, yeah, it works really do. Pour slowly, otherwise you'll end up like cleaning up off the floor. So anyway, that wasn't a full half liter, but I'll deal with this later. And uh, again, I have no holes, no electronics, nothing. This is just a straight Martha tent, like straight out of the box. Uh, again, they are cheap, and I hate to say it, even if you do have problems with contamination, uh, you don't need to like burn the whole thing down like some people suggest. Uh, you know, again, let it dry out, take all the stuff out of the shelves, and just blast it with 70% ethanol. Um, my friend gave me some of this sort of, you know, biotic control stuff. It's got some sort of EM effective microorganisms or whatever in it. Um, I don't know, man, straight up. Peroxide is not so good on the metal. It's okay, like, on the pads. Um, you're gonna throw those away later, probably after one or two um, fruiting cycles. Uh, or even, even you know, depends on how, how dirty they get and how, how messy you are. Um, but yeah, ethanol, ethanol works well. Uh, you know, 70% ISO or whatever alcohol you wanna use. Again, uh, peroxide, metal, not so good. <laughs> but uh, plastic and metal, okay. And uh, that's basically it. So you would let that maybe sit for about another, oh, I don't know, three or four minutes since we're in a hurry here. I'm going to 
get one of my trays. And I mentioned in another video, I would just literally put these trays. I've got three different versions here. This is a... Uh, there you go. You just set them on there, and if you go to the store and you look around, you can find different size trays, and you'll, you'll have to sort this out. This is a kitty litter tray, I think. Um, here I got a couple shoe boxes. There you go. Let's see, hopefully <laughs> they like their new home. Um, there you go. It's like the two shoe boxes there, four shoe boxes, and I've got slightly smaller trays here. There's another one that I've already booted that I. My kids should be recycling and taking it to the garbage. But like I said, you fit eight uh, shoe boxes. These, I reckon you could fit 16 in here. So again, you just, basically that's it. <laughs> you just zip it down. There you go. Get yourself some cheap LED Christmas lights. And uh, these run off USBs. I just let them run 24 seven. Uh, and it's, it's enough light for them to, you know, know where they're going, know which way's up. Uh, except for when I come in here, you know, I like to I like to air out maybe twice a day. It really, it really depends on how many trays you got, how many shelves you got pads on, and uh, how many times you know you're opening this thing up, you know, poking your head in there. So that's pretty much it. These are nice. Again, they are dirt cheap. You can put them in rows. Uh, you know, whatever, man. Fill up your bedroom with them. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest the garage, but uh, you know, somewhere that's clean, you can see here the floor is nice and hard and uh, maybe it'll be disinfected quite well. So I think that's pretty much it uh, for that. Again, these things, uh, if you're not familiar, look in the like, you know, for the like older people uh, area in the pharmacy. Uh, like I said, they are really, really dirt cheap. What's inside them? I don't know. It's some sort of silica type. I don't know, absorbent. I don't know what it is. It, it's kind of uh, a bit contradictory. You'd think they would not release humidity, but in fact they do. Uh, and also when you have at least say like two or three of these shells filled up, um, the substrate and everything uh, is going to release its own humidity. So, you know, you zip it up. Go on about your day. If you want to be real fancy, you know, you get one of these fans. You can you know, open it up, air it out, get all that CO2 out of there. Uh, and if you want to be really, really fancy, you know, you get one of these little fogger things. <laughs> and you'll have to sort that out. Yeah, every, every environment's going to be a little bit different. So anyway, I hope that sorts it out. Oh, for uh, Mr. Johnson, that was for you. <laughs> and all the, all the others out there that are, uh, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to make more of them. I hope that helped. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.